Well, I could use a drink or three. Is it time? Has the Dark Brotherhood finally noticed my impeccable work? I'm ready, Dark One. I swear in the name of... Wait, I should let you talk first. Nothing. Never mind. I thought you were someone else, that's all. Forget I said anything. It's just... There's something about your eyes. They have a certain look about them. I, I thought you were... Well... I thought you were one of them. Keep your voice down. But yes, I thought you were with the Brotherhood. You've got that look in your eyes. You killed people. Or you will. Just between us, I heard the Brotherhood seeks new recruits. I plan to be one of those lucky few. Rumor has it that if you take an innocent life and the Dark Brotherhood notices, they'll offer you a place in their guild. Think about it. A place where killers are free to pursue their darkest passions. Ooh, doesn't it just give you the chills? No risk, no reward, my Aunt Ophelia always said. Look, people like us, we need to surround ourselves with like-minded allies. People that will protect us and help us reach our true potential. They're going to notice me, I just know it. I don't want you to do anything. I'm just providing information. Letting you know that new opportunities are available if you're willing to spill a little blood. Don't take my willingness to help out as a sign or anything. I recognized a kindred spirit, and suggested a way to satisfy your darkest urges. They'll get you killed if you don't keep them under control. And if you don't find the right allies. No need to be all insulting about it. Just remember that I understand. That mask you wear every day, the one you're desperately afraid is going to slip one day, you could throw that mask away in the Brotherhood. They want you for who you really are. That's one of the best things about the Dark Brotherhood. It hides in plain sight. No one knows where its headquarters is or how many members it has. Yet you can go into any library and read a book about them. It's brilliant, really. Quite a few, actually. My favorite is the Night Mother's Truth. It describes the origins of the Brotherhood, although it might all be theory and conjecture. But forget the books. Everyone knows the Brotherhood exists, and most people fear them. Fellowship, safety, and security, to name just a few. I understand there's also a steady flow of gold from all the contracts. And you get to kill people. Can you imagine a better guild to belong to? Better than picking pockets, if you ask me. I'm not one to reveal my sources, but Fat Grokal told me that he overheard Seaworthy Sarala say that there have been some mysterious murders committed on the Gold Coast. To me, nothing says Dark Brotherhood like mysterious murders. Oh, I got that from Margog the Hammer. Buy him a couple of ales and he spouts secrets like a bard spouts poetry. Just the other day, he told me that his cousin Crust killed a baker in Anvil. He received a mysterious visit that very night. You really don't know anything about the Brotherhood, do you? If they decide you're worthy enough to receive an invitation, one of their dark dignitaries shows up to deliver the news in person. It's kind of creepy, but it's also a singular honor.
you there. Wait for a moment, if you would. Pardon the interruption. I've been looking for you. Not me. But I have something for you. A letter. Confidential. Private. I have it here somewhere. Ah, yes. Here it is. Yes, the Anvil Lighthouse, just up the way. The sender ordered me to direct you there after I handed over the letter. I'm glad I found you. After looking for the woman with the eye patch all day, I figured I was in for late night. Emily Crow? Do you know her? I gave her a letter right there on the Anvil docks. I have no idea where she went in such a hurry, but she seemed excited to receive it. Anyway, I have more deliveries to make before I can rest for the day. Farewell. Farewell. Stop, miscreant! Come closer and let me look into your eyes. No remorse, no mercy. Yes, you do have the eyes of a killer. How many lives ended looking into those eyes? Enough that the Night Mother has noticed, obviously. Which brings us both to this place and time. I am a speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. I speak with the voice of the Night Mother. I act with the hands of our dread father, Sithis. I have an offer to make to one so skilled in the art of murder. An invitation, if you will. As well you should. I am certain you have questions, but first, we must determine if you are worthy of joining the Dark Brotherhood. You take lives easily and without hesitation. We know that you can kill. Now show us that you can also obey. Splendid. We shall see how well you marry business with death. But first, allow me to present you with a gift. I shall teach you how to call upon a particular tool of our trade. A tool for dealing death, of course. One forged by unseen hands. The Blade of Woe. Wield it from the shadows and its edge shall deliver your prey to Sithis in the void. In return, I expect only unwavering loyalty and ruthless efficiency. Now, let us discuss the task before you. A killing that shall form a covenant between us. Sight. The Imperial Noble, Lord Quintus Gerol, has been marked for death by the Black Sacrament. Your task is simple. Find Gerol and kill him. That isn't a question we ask. Suffice to say he offended someone enough to get them to perform the Black Sacrament. The Night Mother heard the prayer, and now Jarol must die. This is the task I have set before you. Excellent. The noble's estate can be found northwest of Anvil along the Gold Road. How you perform the execution is up to you. Just make sure Lord Quintus Jarol dies by your hand. Then your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Our unholy matron and the one true bride of Sithis. We are her children, forever wrapped in her cold, loving embrace. There will be time enough for more questions after you complete the task before you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Excellent. The wise traveler asks for directions before the path diverges. Never hesitate to rely on your fellow Brotherhood members once you complete your initiation. I assume you want to know what awaits you at the noble's estate? Killing requires few special skills, but reaching your target? That's the real task, isn't it? High walls, locked gates, and armed patrols protect the estate. There is another way to reach the estate grounds, if you're interested. A series of smuggler tunnels runs beneath the withered rose and leads directly to the estate's courtyard. That's the route I would take. And don't forget to bring lockpicks. Gerol is a cautious man. He never leaves the door unlocked behind him. The withered rose? A small hostel outside the city. A lovely mother and daughter own the place, but they've had trouble making ends meet. The smuggler tunnels provide them with an alternate source of income, and they're perfect for your needs. <laughs> 